hope as she have when I come back home. And bring that with me. Another story from Italy. General Clark, commanding the 5th Army, praises the work of the women in the forces. Now the people back home, your friends and your families, have every right to be proud of what you have accomplished. He then presented campaign medals to two WACs, just two of the many who have earned or will earn medals for the great services they're performing. British, American and French women's auxiliary services are well represented in this theater of war, and all three nationalities are doing sterling work. They eat together in the same mess, and as you'd expect, they all get on extremely well. I said mess, but there seems to be more than one opinion about that description. I think this is a jolly good mess. Mess, honey, you mean chow. No, 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 chez nous, c'est la popote. The scene changes to somewhere in the Pacific. Here, American army nurses not only know how to keep fit for their exacting duties on this front, they also know how to make the best of a few hours off. Good fun, and so she told us, swimming is slimming. At a naval air gunnery school in the States, American waves, wrens to us, give machine gun instruction from the turrets of bombers. Girls teaching men how to shoot, that is new. Florida, but not exactly a recognized war work, still it's a patriotic duty to see that the supply of pin-up girls equals the demand, and that's what they're doing. Their pictures will reappear in camps and barracks all over the world. 